NASA's Artemis program is not just a mission, it's a challenge. A challenge to push the boundaries of human exploration and technology. Join us on Fact Epics as we dive into the Artemis challenge, exploring the innovative technologies, the daring missions, and the ambitious goals of returning to the moon and setting our sights on Mars. NASA's plans to send astronauts back to the moon have been delayed once again. The agency announced that its next Artemis mission, which was supposed to send four astronauts on a flight around the moon using a new generation capsule, will now launch in September 2025 instead of later this year. Moreover, the mission to actually land astronauts near the moon's south pole will be postponed to September 2026. The reason for these delays is to allow sufficient time to test new technologies on the Orion spacecraft, which will be used for crewed moon missions. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson emphasized that returning to the moon this time is different from previous missions, and the safety of astronauts is the top priority. The additional time will also enable NASA teams to complete their investigation and address issues that arose during the first uncrewed Artemis test flight, which happened in late 2022. These issues include a battery problem and complications with the Orion capsule's air ventilation and temperature control systems. NASA is taking these problems seriously and needs time to thoroughly examine and fix them to ensure the safety and success of future missions. Amit Kshatriya, the Deputy Associate Administrator of Exploration Systems Development at NASA headquarters, highlighted the importance of the Artemis program for long-term exploration. He said, Artemis is a long-term exploration campaign to conduct science on the moon with astronauts and prepare for future human missions to Mars. That means we must get it right as we develop and fly our foundational systems so that we can safely carry out these missions. This latest delay is part of a series of setbacks and budget overruns that have plagued the Artemis program over the years. NASA has spent more than $42 billion over the past decade developing the space launch system Mega Rocket and the Orion spacecraft to make these moon missions possible. Last year, NASA's Inspector General released a report highlighting the challenges posed by the massive costs and ambitious timeline of the Artemis program. The report estimated that each Artemis launch would cost $4 to $2 billion. This high price tag makes it tough for NASA to maintain these lunar missions, while also pursuing other exploration goals. Additionally, a study released on May 2 has raised concerns about the capacity of the port and road facilities at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The report suggests that these facilities are at risk of being overwhelmed in the coming years due to the increasing amount of commercial and military activity. SpaceX, United Launch Alliance, Blue Origin, and Relativity Space all use these facilities regularly, and the growing demand could strain the infrastructure. The Artemis program, named after the Greek goddess who was Apollo's twin sister, aims to establish regular missions to the moon. Eventually, NASA wants to set up a base camp on the lunar surface before making a journey to Mars. This program is not just about short trips to the moon, but about creating a sustained presence there. A big part of making the Artemis program work involves the commercial space industry. Companies like Elon Musk's SpaceX and Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin are key players. They are developing various components and vehicles to help NASA achieve its goals. For instance, SpaceX is working on its Starship rocket, which is designed to land on the Moon and possibly even Mars. Blue Origin is developing its own lunar lander, Blue Moon, to transport cargo and potentially astronauts to the lunar surface. NASA is also looking to contract with private companies to transport scientific experiments and equipment to the moon. This approach helps spread out the costs and involves innovative solutions from the private sector. One company involved in this effort is Astrobotic Technology. They recently launched a commercially built lander to the moon. Unfortunately, the spacecraft suffered a malfunction shortly after liftoff, which means it won't reach the lunar surface. This setback is a reminder of the challenges and risks involved in space exploration. The renewed focus on the moon is not limited to NASA and the United States. Other countries are also ramping up their lunar exploration efforts. For example, India's space agency successfully landed a robotic spacecraft on the moon last year. This achievement marked a significant milestone for India in space exploration. Similarly, 
China has been making strides in its lunar program. In 2019, China placed a lander and a rover on the far side of the moon, a first in the history of lunar exploration. China is expected to continue expanding its lunar program in the coming years. The prospect of asteroid mining is becoming increasingly viable, thanks to decades of telemetry data collected since the 1960s, which has helped identify valuable space rocks. Additionally, newer environmental legislation aimed at curbing harmful mining practices on Earth is making space mining more attractive. These factors are creating opportunities for new companies focused on asteroid mining to emerge. Astroforge, for example, launched a test satellite in April of last year to process simulated asteroid material in orbit. They plan to conduct a second mission to survey a target asteroid soon. Similarly, Transastra is developing software and hardware for observing and tracking objects in the sky, with a focus on asteroid mining. Origin Space, a Chinese group, is also working on satellite-based technology for tracking objects and testing space mining equipment. Colorado-based Carmen Plus intends to send a probe with excavation capabilities to an asteroid in 2026. The Asteroid Mining Corporation, in collaboration with Tohoku University in Japan, has developed a six-legged robotic explorer capable of navigating in microgravity and collecting samples. They plan to test this technology on the moon in 2026. This surge in innovation and activity in the asteroid mining sector mirrors the growth of the rocket industry when production and launches became more affordable. With companies of all sizes investing in asteroid mining technology and prototypes, this could be the beginning of a booming industry. Keeping an eye on these developments could unveil exciting opportunities in the near future. If you enjoyed learning about the Artemis Challenge and want to stay updated on the latest space news, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe to Fact Epics for more exciting content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.